name's Will Cabral, and I'm a snowboard expert at Curated.com. I've helped hundreds of people find the right setup for them. Today, I got a chance to ride the LibTech Orca. Just so you know, we are not sponsored, and all of these reviews are completely unbiased. LibTech claims that the Orca is a resort ripping, pow slashing, kind of do everything board. And don't forget, if you need help finding the next board for you, click the link in the description and we'll help you find your next setup. My overall impression of the LibTech Orca is that it's a really cool alternative all mountain board. It has a pretty short side cut, which means it wants to make really short, fast turns all over the mountain. The edge hold is pretty good with the magna traction and the C2X profile, uh, which is gonna give you uh, a decent bit of camber, but also have rocker in the middle to help you initiate that turn. The LibTech Orca should be ridden about three to six centimeters shorter than your normal board, which means that it's going to feel a little easier to get around. And when you do get up at high speeds, it's a little less stable. So you gotta be a little bit more on your game um, when you do wanna make bigger high speed turns. Given that the Orca is very maneuverable, it worked really well in trees. You can really get into some tight spots and with the magnet traction, be confident that you can stop on a dime, avoid what you need to avoid, and also just play around through all the bumps. It does have quite a bit of taper um, from the nose getting skinnier to the tail. So the feel riding switch is different than riding forward. However, it's surprisingly very doable. I would say that the Orca has a, a good mix of terrain that it works well. At. It does lay trenches and can rip groomers, but really it's, it's focused on being maneuverable, riding in deeper snow and getting some, some good float. You know, I've, I've ridden the Orca quite a, a bit. It honestly took a little while to get used to. It's different than a lot of boards because it has that volume shift where you're riding a lot smaller snowboard than you're used to. So it might not have all the tail that you're looking for and the nose might seem a little bit longer, but it's reliable, it's predictable. So once you get on it and you start to learn how the board's gonna ride, you're gonna get really comfortable on it really quickly. In terms of pop, I'd say it's middle of the road. It's not gonna blow your, blow your socks off. It's not gonna blow your mind. I wouldn't land it switch. That's gonna be a little scary. But if you're just going off, hitting some straight airs, throwing some grabs, finding side hits, this is, this is gonna be a fun board. I would recommend the Orca to someone who is a confident intermediate rider and maybe this is their second board uh, that they've purchased and they want something different than kind of your traditional true all mountain twin. I would not put a true beginner on this board because it is just an, a different alternative feel. Um, it's not a board that I would be trying to develop snowboarding fundamentals on. So snowboards work differently for different types of riders. If you need help finding your next setup, please reach out to either myself or one of my fellow curated experts and we'll make sure to get you on the right setup. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more content from Curated.